Today we've travelled to Superstar Components in Lincoln to follow the Haas journey that they've undertaken. James, this is a fabulous story here at Superstar Components today. Now, can you tell us how this journey started? Like many journeys that start with Haas, Neil came to us over 10 years ago now with no experience of CNC whatsoever, semblance of an idea around the products that he wanted to make and it was a, a product that he got rather than subcontract. So we entered into discussions around what kind of machine he would need, what would give him the agility to do the level of components he wanted and it was very clear right from the outset of Neil's business model that he wanted to produce things in high volume. So uh, to get things going we went with a VF2, one of our most popular machines, we make loads of them, uh, very very simple to maintain and run so VF2 was, was actually where we started and quite quickly it was evident that Neil was successful fixturing things up and, and, and even now, so 10 years on, this thing has run flat out, uh, fixturing nice parts, they're, they're parts that go on, on cycles, mountain bikes, that kind of component, you probably recognise the kind of area of the bike that that would come from. But very quickly he identified from 2011 they just didn't have enough machining capacity. So the next logical step was to move uh, in a couple of years later, this is a 2013 machine, to the VF4 SS. So VF4 SS, bigger table, exactly the same spindle, everything else is the VF2. SS is the super speed version, which means it's got a 12,000 RPM spindle again, maximizing that uh, speeds and feeds on aluminium. And as you can see from the jobs that Neil's got on here, uh, high volume parts. So this, this part here actually runs, this cycle time runs for about seven hours, which is fantastic because that enables operators to go off and do other bits and pieces. Uh, this particular job that's running here, as you can see, is, is just on a couple of steel blocks. There's 90 parts there. However, the, the machine has run all of its life with the auto pallet changing system. So we just looked on the control a little while ago and there's just under 4,000 hours of continuous use that this, uh, this, this pallet system has been churning out part after part after part after part. I mean, this is a phenomenal story and, and, and automation is a big theme at Superstar Components and like you say you know automating these pallets and getting the most productivity out of the machine tools and, and using them to the to the ultimate capacity really. Uh, absolutely because it, it is about that we, we all talk about cycle time and trying to get cycle time efficiency down and therefore profitability up but actually it's a little bit cleverer than that and it's, it's been quite nice and refreshing because Neil's come at this out, from outside of engineering he wasn't a traditional engineer he'd never programmed a machine in his life never seen a CNC in his life and realized quite quickly that actually the best way of making money is to be very efficient in the process sometimes that's about getting the cycle time up but productivity up exponentially against that cycle time freeing things up, which then the journey has taken us over to one of the latest acquisitions here, which is an auto parts loaded lathe with Y axes. So this is our ST10 Y axes lathe, very fast, 6,000 RPM spindle, so that we can get the chipping required to do the components that we're talking about with this lathe automatically fed by the auto parts loader which is integrated into this whole system and as a piece of true automation this is very very affordable so adding the auto parts loading system to a conventional lathe is around about forty thousand pounds worth of investment that's wow. all and the footprint to me really strikes me james it's a very small footprint for the the the, the amount of parts that you can actually present to the robot? It's actually a smaller footprint than quite a few um, bar feeding systems that you'll see. It's quite a stubby stubby footprint here with the auto parts loader. Obviously you compromise a little bit here, it's protected by a light curtains as, as many automation systems are, but yeah you're absolutely right. In terms of efficiency we're very well crammed in here, so again one operator is getting around many, many machine applications, so actually the proximity is quite useful in that regard because, again, they can just keep the whole process moving the whole time. So is automating the milling 
and the turning and he's also automating the mini mills as well which is another of the, his acquisitions from yeah. Haas. So yeah quite quickly they they realised that the VF4 yes that gave them loads more capacity but they needed more and this is where mini mill really comes in small components small footprint you can get a, so straight away Neil, Neil invested in a couple of mini mills just to up those spindles and as you can see some of the fixturing that he's done has even automated a very very small working envelope to get a really efficient piece of automation out. I mean you talk about efficiency 12 components to the spindle on such a, a small machine tool with such a small footprint surely the return of investment on this is instantaneous oh, I would have thought so yeah Neil's very very clever at returning investment as you can see and yeah it's it's a, a really nice Haas story of automation done in very simple affordable terms no huge leap to multi hundreds of thousands of investment quite the opposite but really effective